Bringing a new baby home is an incredible experience, filled with joy, wonder, and, let's be honest, a bit of bewilderment. One common source of confusion and sometimes concern for new parents is newborn gas. Rest assured it's completely normal. Those tiny tummies are still developing and gas is simply a part of the process. Newborns swallow air during feeding, whether they are breastfed or bottle fed. This air, combined with the developing digestive system, can lead to those adorable and sometimes loud burps and toots we all know and love. Remember, every baby is different. Some babies are gassier than others, and that's okay. The good news is that there are plenty of simple, effective ways to help relieve your little one's discomfort and bring back those peaceful moments. In the following sections, we'll delve deeper into the world of newborn gas, providing you with the knowledge and tools to navigate this common parenting challenge. From understanding when gas typically starts and ends to learning practical relief techniques, we've got you covered. Most newborns start experiencing gas within the first few weeks of life. You might notice those telltale signs like squirming, fussiness, and a distended tummy, especially after feedings. Around six weeks of age, baby's digestive systems begin to mature. You might notice a decrease in gas around this time, but some babies might continue to experience it for a few months. By the time your baby reaches four to six months old, their digestive system is usually more developed, and gas tends to be less frequent and less bothersome. Remember, this is a general timeline, and every baby develops at their own pace. If you have any concerns about your baby's gas or overall health, don't hesitate to reach out to your pediatrician for personalized guidance. Now that you have a better understanding of when gas typically occurs, let's explore some practical tips to help relieve your little one's discomfort. Perfect, the burping technique. Burp your baby frequently during and after feedings. Hold your baby in an upright position, supporting their head and neck, and gently pat or rub their back. Experiment with different positions, like over your shoulder or sitting upright on your lap to find what works best for your baby. Bicycle kicks. Gently move your baby's legs in a bicycle motion while they're lying on their back. This can help to expel trapped gas and ease discomfort. Tummy time. Encourage tummy time when your baby is awake and supervised. This not only helps strengthen their neck and shoulder muscles, but also aids digestion and relieves gas. Warm bath. A warm bath can be incredibly soothing for a gassy baby. The warm water can help relax their muscles and ease any discomfort. Section four, red flags, signs. Your baby needs a doctor's help. While gas is a normal part of infancy, there are some instances when it's important to seek medical attention. Contact your pediatrician if your baby experiences severe and persistent gas. If your baby's gas is causing them significant distress and doesn't improve with home remedies, it's crucial to consult your doctor. If your baby has blood in their stool, this could be a sign of a more serious digestive issue and requires immediate medical attention. Is your baby vomiting frequently or experiencing projectile vomiting? While occasional spit-up is normal, Frequent or forceful vomiting could indicate a problem that needs medical evaluation. Also, if your baby has a distended abdomen that's hard to the touch, a hard swollen belly that doesn't soften with burping or other remedies could be a sign of a medical concern. And finally, show signs of dehydration. If your baby has fewer wet diapers than usual, a dry mouth or sunken eyes, it's essential to seek medical attention promptly. Section 5. Beyond the Burp, Additional Approaches for Gassy Babies In addition to the practical tips mentioned earlier, there are a few other things you can try to help relieve your gassy baby. Dietary changes for breastfeeding mothers can make a difference. If you're breastfeeding, certain foods in your diet might contribute to your baby's gas. Common culprits include dairy, soy, caffeine, and cruciferous vegetables. Consider keeping a food diary to track your diet and identify any potential triggers. If you're bottle feeding, using a different bottle or nipple might help. A slow flow nipple or an angled bottle can help reduce the amount of air your baby swallows during feeding. Infant probiotics are another option. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that can help support a healthy gut. Talk to your pediatrician about whether infant probiotics might be helpful for your baby. And finally, there's gripe water. Gripe water is a herbal supplement that's traditionally been used to relieve gas and colic in infants. While there's limited scientific evidence to support its effectiveness, many parents find it helpful. 
Section 6. A Final Word. Embracing the Journey of Parenthood. As a new parent, it's natural to feel overwhelmed at times. Remember, you're doing great. These early months are a period of immense growth and development for both you and your baby. Gas is a normal part of this journey and there are plenty of ways to help your little one feel better. Trust your instincts, be patient, and don't hesitate to reach out to your pediatrician for guidance and support.